Oi, oi, you with Evan from the West... I look horrible, give me a sec. Oi, oi, you with Evan from the West Ham way, and as you know, we are playing Watford tomorrow. It feels like it's been forever since I've seen West Ham kick a ball. I cannot wait. Now, before we kick off today, it's been 24 years since the big man passed away. Forever in our thoughts, Mr. Bobby Moore. Uh, our, our thoughts and prayers go out to you and your family. The best ever. English and West Ham footballer in the history of the world, they certainly do not make them like them anymore. So tomorrow, let's do it for Bobby, let's do it for his family and let's do it for his legacy. Sidebar, this week has been a very proud week for me. I uh, I managed to do my first, first presenting gig for West Ham. I don't know if you saw me on the Snapchat, but the video should be coming out next week, there or thereabouts. Thank you so much for your support because I, I couldn't have done it without you guys. We've got a great team going on over there, which I'm sure will come out in the next couple of weeks. Also, I just want to say quickly, I work in film and television. That's the reason for the moustache. Let's be polite about it. You know, I had an afro a week ago. It's gone now, but I had to put a hat on because, uh, well, obviously. Right, moving on, we've got Watford away. Now, when they came to our ground, it's... Uh, it's a bit of a weird day, wasn't it? Cracking assist, um, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> so the team I'd like to see tomorrow, I'd like to see an attacking team. I'd like to see a team with fast players in it. I'd like to see a few players dropped. Yeah, a few players dropped. You know, the idea of having a big squad is that you can chop and change and people need to fight for places. We'll see what happens. Watford are a very strong side. Got bear with me, sorry the phone's going off. Hello, team news. I will never do that again. Darren Randolph, it's got to be, boom, first name on the team sheet. I'd go Masuaku, good to see Arthur back in full training. I think he's got a point to prove. He, he He's very good going forward, he's good with the ball at his feet. Winston Reid, Jose Font, pick themselves. Right back, Koyate, now he's been doing the business. So I wouldn't drop him. He is better in midfield. But he's doing a job, he's hard to beat, he's strong, and if he wipes out that mistake that he made at West Brom, sorted. Moving on, 4-4-2 is my formation, right mid for Gooley, best form of his West Ham career, would not drop him at all. In the middle, Obiang, Lanzini, I think he'll look alright. Left wing, Snodgrass, who has performed amazingly since we signed him. He has run his socks off. He, he, I feel like he's covered so many blades of grass since he's been in a West Ham shirt. And it is a pleasure to have a player like that playing for us. And up top, I know he's not a striker, but I'd pay Antonio just behind Cagliari. Now, <laughs> I, I rate the boy. I really do. He, he has had a torrid time. A, a, a torrid time since he signed. But... We all deserve a second chance. Um, him more than ever. You know, his, uh, his last second massive deflection against Burrow won me a couple of quid. So, as you know, the 3-1 came in. Um, yeah, apart from that, you know, what changes would you make? What team would you like to see? After we've done the business tomorrow, make sure you stop and talk to Baz the West Ham way after the game. Let him know about how you feel about away days, how you felt about the game, what you think about... Anything West Ham. It doesn't even have to be West Ham, but it should be West Ham. Yeah. First scorer. Who do you think the first scorer is going to be? Because I'm going Antonio. I think he's due a goal. You know, I've talked about him with my old man. He's due a goal. And I think we're going to come out on top. So this weekend is all about remembrance. It's about passion. And it's about enjoying yourself. So everyone go out there, stay safe. And come on, you irons.